the matchmaking elimination method is finally ready. This method is about making your rival forget about Senpai by manipulating her into developing feelings for a different boy. You will achieve this by gathering information about your rival and telling a boy exactly what he needs to do and say in order to win her heart. In this video, I will be revealing everything you need to know about using the matchmaking method to eliminate Kokona, the girl who is used as a test subject in the game's debug build. In order to eliminate any rival by pairing her up with a boy, you will first need to find out who has a crush on her. You will need to stalk your rival until you notice a boy gazing at her for an extended period of time. This person is your rival's suitor. The next step is to speak to them and perform a task for them so that you can gain their trust. After the task is complete, the task icon in the dialog wheel will be replaced with a heart icon. Selecting the heart will allow you to name the person that the suitor has a crush on. If you name the correct student, then the suitor will ask you for advice on how to win their heart. This will unlock the matchmaking menu. In order to make your rival develop feelings for the suitor, you will need to make the two of them interact with each other. This is called courtship. There is a court command in the love menu, but you will need a special item in order to unlock this option. That item is a wireless headset and wireless earpiece that can be purchased from InfoChan. Once you possess the headset and earpiece, you can use them to remotely give advice to the suitor while he is speaking to your rival. If you unlock the matchmaking menu, befriend your rival by performing a task for her, and purchase the headset and earpiece, you can use the court command to tell your rival that someone wants to speak with her near the school's east fountain. Then you can use the court command to give the earpiece to the suitor and tell him to go meet the rival. Once both the rival and the suitor are in the same place, you can hide behind a nearby tree and use the wireless headset to give advice to the suitor. The game's camera will move into the suitor's head and you will see the interaction through his eyes, as if you were playing a dating simulator. You are still controlling Yandere-chan, but Yandere-chan is controlling the suitor. While you are helping the suitor court the rival, the game's interface completely changes. The bar at the top of the screen displays the rival's current amount of affection towards the suitor. Your objective is to fill that bar to maximum. You can increase the rival's affection by successfully performing an action. The right side of the screen displays the actions that are currently available to you. For example, the compliment option displays a list of compliments that you can give the rival. Giving the right compliment will boost her affection. The strength of the boost comes from your multiplier. You can increase the multiplier by giving the suitor traits that the rival is attracted to. But how will you find out what she's attracted to? In order to learn what a rival likes, what she dislikes, and what she's attracted to, you should have to stalk the rival as she walks around school and observe how she reacts to the sight of objects, actions, and students. Currently, Kokona has a very simple routine that does not take her near very many places or students. So, the best way to learn more about Kokona is to befriend her and then ask her to walk around school with you. As you walk past places and students, you'll learn what she likes and dislikes and what she's attracted to. Before I continue, I should let you know something. I'm about to spoil everything about how to make Kokona fall in love with someone. If you think it would be more fun to figure it out yourself, now is the right time to stop watching the video. If you bring Kokona to the occult club, she will express her opinion about it. She thinks it's creepy. However, if you take her nearby this occult club member, you will notice that she's attracted to something about him. If you take Kokona near the other boys in the occult club, you'll notice that Kokona doesn't express any attraction to them. We can conclude that Kokona is not attracted to the occult, not attracted to this hair color, not attracted to chokers, and is not attracted to the act of covering one eye. However, she is attracted to this student. 
there's only one thing that separates him from the rest of the school. He's the only boy in the school who wears glasses. We can conclude that Kokona thinks glasses are attractive. Kokona is also attracted to this boy, Haruto. Does this mean she's attracted to red hair? If you take her near Ryuto, she won't express any attraction to him. We can conclude that she is not attracted to red hair, red eyes, bandanas, or the pompadour hairstyle. So what is it about Haruto that she finds attractive? Look closely. He's the only boy in school who wears an earring. We can conclude that Kokona thinks piercings are hot. Kokona is not attracted to Hayato, a boy with green hair and green eyes. However, Kokona is attracted to this boy with green hair and green eyes, who is studying in the library. We can conclude that Kokona thinks intelligence is attractive. Kokona is not attracted to Sota, who has blonde hair. And she's not attracted to Sora, who has cyan eyes. However, she's attracted to this boy, who has blonde hair and cyan eyes. So, what does this boy have that no other boy has? The answer is his hairstyle. He's the only boy in school with his hair slicked back. We can conclude that Kokona is attracted to slick hair. Kokona is attracted to Riku, who has purple hair. No other boy at school shares that feature, so we can conclude that Kokona is attracted to purple hair. Because Kokona's suitor has a huge crush on her, he's willing to do almost anything to get her attention. He would even be willing to change his appearance. You can use the Appearance option in the matchmaking menu to tell him what Kokona is attracted to. If you tell him that Kokona is attracted to tan skin, spiky blonde hair, sunglasses, and gold jewelry, he will actually come to school looking exactly the way you told him to look. The absolute madman. If the suitor possesses no traits that the rival finds attractive, the suitor's multiplier will be stuck at times one. Each time he successfully completes an action, he will gain one point. This means that he is only able to raise the affection meter by five points per day. The affection meter won't be full until the suitor has raised it by 100 points. At a rate of five points per day, it would take 20 days to win her heart. That's bad, because Yandere-chan only has until Friday to eliminate her rival. However, if the suitor possesses every single trait that the rival finds attractive, his multiplier will be raised to times five. This way, he can boost her affection by 25 points every day, which will allow him to win her heart within just four days. Because you only have five days to work with, it would be very difficult for a suitor to woo a rival without learning all of the traits she finds attractive and customizing the suitor to be her ideal man. During the courtship sequence, the five options that are available to you are negative remark, positive remark, compliment, show off, and give gift. The suitor can increase the rival's affection by making negative remarks about the things she doesn't like and making positive remarks about the things she does like. Compliments are a bit more tricky. You'll need to use common sense and your knowledge of the rival's personality to determine what she would probably want to hear. Some rivals would love to be called sexy, but other rivals would appreciate more classy compliments instead. The show-off action allows the suitor to demonstrate something that would impress the rival. For example, Kokona is attracted to intelligence, so she would become more attracted to the suitor if he demonstrated wisdom. To increase a suitor's wisdom, you must take him to the school library and study with him. In order for the suitor to continue impressing the rival on subsequent days, Yandere-chan will have to keep bringing him to the library every single day. In the future, I think that this part of the courtship sequence should change. Instead of having three ways to impress the rival, strength, wisdom, and courage, the suitor should have to gain knowledge of specific things that the rival is interested in. For example, if the current rival is a big fan of stage plays, Yandere-chan should have to find out what her top five favorite plays are, and then give the studer information about each play. 
This way, the suitor can demonstrate knowledge of the rival's favorite things every day of the week. The give gift action is simple. If you locate something on school grounds that would make a good gift, you can give it to the suitor using the gift command in the matchmaking menu. Once the item is in his inventory, he will be able to give it to the rival when he is courting her. I tried my best to put a lot of detail into the courtship sequence. The rival will slowly begin to blush and smile as her affection increases, and she will make different types of comments at different levels of affection. On Friday, shortly before 5 p.m., your rival will decide who she wants to confess her feelings to, senpai or her suitor. She will put a love letter into the locker of the boy she has chosen, asking him to meet her under the cherry tree behind the school. When the boy finds the letter, he will run straight to the cherry tree. If you approach the two of them, you will see a sequence where the two students confess their feelings for one another. Ideally, the confession sequence would be a fully animated 3D cutscene with motion-captured animation and voice acting. However, at this point in time, I don't have the resources to achieve that, so the confession cutscene is actually quite plain at the moment. Please understand that everything currently in the game will be vastly improved before the final game is released. After you have successfully paired two students together, you can observe them acting like a couple on subsequent days. You can see them holding hands as they walk to school, and see them cuddling with each other on the school rooftop at lunchtime. This is the only elimination method that does not result in anyone being harmed in any way. I have designed 16 elimination methods. As of now, I have implemented 14 of them. The remaining two elimination methods are rival-specific, meaning that they can't be implemented until a true rival has been added to the game. It's finally time to stop using Kokona as a test dummy and implement a real rival girl. The next thing I'm going to work on is the rival introduction video. After that, I will create a video explaining everything that will need to be done in order to implement Yandere Simulator's first official rival, and how long I estimate it will take. Thank you for following the development of Yandere Simulator.